Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. In this video, I will share with you my favorite three stablecoin yield strategies that I like to use in this bull market. This video is going to be pure alpha like all the other content that you can watch in this channel. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and without further ado, let's share the best yield coin strategies in 2025. So it's 2025, we are in a bull market and it's important to take some profits into stable coins. But your stable coins can, instead of just sitting in your wallets and losing to inflation, they can generate insane yields in DeFi. And now I'm gonna show you my favorite three stable coin strategies that I use to generate yield on my US dollars and how I make my money work for me and generate my cost of living and even more every single month. So we will start from the easiest strategies that are set and forget, and we'll also talk about the risk of every single strategy. So the first strategy that I like, which is set and forget, is Morpho. Morpho is a lending protocol, um, a bit different than Aave and Compound, but pretty big and pretty battle-tested, went through many security audits, and Morpho offers plenty of vaults with different assets, and you can generate those crazy yields on your stablecoins. So you can see that you have different vaults, and for every vault you can see the APY. I personally chose this EUROC vault, uh, Euro C is Euro token. It's like Euro pegged to one Euro uh, by Circle. We know that Circle is one of the biggest stablecoins issuer. USDC is by Circle, and Euro C is their Euro equivalent stablecoin similar to USDC. Now I live in Europe, so it's perfect for me. I just hold some euros over here, and they generate for me 14% APY. This is quite a lot. Compared to other investments, if it's banks that offer around 4 to 5% or real estate that offers usually below 10%. So I'm pretty happy with these returns and I can every once in a while come and claim my rewards in form of Morpho and well tokens. And then I can reinvest them into the strategy or do other things with them. So this is kind of set and forget euro stablecoin strategy and in my experience these yields are fluctuating between 15 to 20 percent now it's a bit less so it's pretty good between 10 to 20 percent i would say in the long term on stable coins on euros this is pretty good strategy the second strategy is a bit more complicated but also not that complicated and you can generate pretty good yields uh, using bfi BFI is an yield aggregator and it allows you to generate yield on assets and it mainly consists of liquidity pool tokens. But you can go to BFI, you can filter here the chains, you have so many chains and so many strategies and you have so many filters that can help you find the strategies that work best for you. So I use this stablecoin filter across multiple blockchains and you can see that it now offers me only strategies that involve stable coins. And you can see that we can generate 73% APY on SUSD and USDC on Optimism. We can generate 66% APY on USDZ and USDC on Base. And these are pretty good numbers. But in the last year alone, billions in crypto have been stolen. Imagine logging into your wallet and seeing everything gone just like that. Stop risking it. A ledger hardware wallet stores your keys offline safe from hackers and phishing attacks. No constant anxiety, no sleepless nights, wondering if you and your funds are next. Take back control, protect your DeFi and crypto assets before it's too late. Get your ledger today with my special discount link in the description below. And these are pretty good numbers, but you also have to bear in mind that while you use this platform, you're exposed to uh, plenty of smart contract risks, starting from the B5 smart contracts and also the underlying smart contracts that in these exchanges. So in that case, if you use this strategy, you will deposit stablecoins into B5 that will deposit the stablecoins into Uniswap. 
Now, I'm pretty confident that Uniswap is one of the most secure DeFi protocols out there. But again, you had another risk while you're using DeFi because you use also BeFi smart contracts. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is which stablecoins are you aping into? Because SUSD, for instance, is a stablecoin that was created by Synthetic. You need to see if this stablecoin is an algorithmic stablecoin or just a centralized stablecoin like USDC, which is centralized by Circle, which is the one that we use here with this Morpho strategy, or it's maybe algorithmic stablecoin that might lose its peg and maybe even go to zero. So you always want to pay attention to which stablecoins are involved, what is USDZ, what is SUSD, and how safe they are. For instance, the second strategy, second and third, involved uh, adding liquidity of USDZ and USDC. And if I just go to USDZ now and CoinGecko, I can see that it's 3% below the peg. So I would think twice if I want to put my money into this stable coin, which I can see that it even went 6%, 5-6%, and it's not that stable. I personally traumatized with stablecoin DPEG because I was here in the previous DeFi cycle and I lost a lot of money in UST Luna. I didn't pay put money in Luna, but I had money in UST. And of course, as you know, it went to zero. Um, so I'm double checking every stablecoin that I'm using just because I learned it from my own experience. So I would be very, very picky here. And also bear in mind that those APYs are changing all the time and they fluctuate. It's not constant. It's not fixed guaranteed rate so you need also to check the amount of tvl and the apy over time for instance if i go here and i click on the apy chart in the one week i can see that it's mostly it was around nine percent eight percent and only recently they probably added incentives so there was surge in volume in swaps so the apr uh, went uh, up but usually on average it's way 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 lower so always check this uh, historical apy rates and check the stable coins when you choose the strategy now the third strategy is my favorite it's a bit more advanced but i have another dedicated tutorial of what is this strategy how it works and how to deploy capital to it it's essentially a delta neutral strategy on GMX on Arbitrum, where you short asset on one side, then you long an asset on the other side, and it makes you delta neutral, so you're not affected by the volatility of the asset. You're only exposed to USD, to USDC, and you generate yield on both the long and the short side. And currently, this strategy is approximately standing on 55% APR, which is insane on dollars, because here you can see that the short side is paying 66% APR, and the long side is paying around 10% APR. And when you use leverage and you, use, you deploy the capital in a smart way, then you can get to 55% APR on your net capital. And this strategy currently generates me $67 per day, which is pretty awesome. This is my favorite strategy. Of course, it's more advanced. It requires some more knowledge, but uh, the risk is quite low and the yields are way better and way more consistent. But this is content for another video because it's pretty complicated. So make sure to watch the other video in the description below where I break down the strategy step by step and of course talk about the risks as well. These are the best stablecoin strategies that I use in 2025 in the bull market. Let me know if you have any questions below and if you want to be exposed to more alpha content about DeFi and crypto, make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video so the algorithm can recommend you more similar high quality DeFi videos. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.